Hi everybody, this is UP Readings and hi Cancer. Let's see what messages will show up for you guys. Um, I will be linking the reading about your person underneath the video. If you're interested, you can check it out, okay? So let's see, what do we have for Cancer? What do we have for Cancer, please? What do we have for Cancer? Okay, so we have indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. There is something that is confusing you at the present moment, okay? There is something that is troubling you. You're having a hard time deciding about it. But we will see. But the answer to it is your intuition. What is your intuition guiding you towards? What do we have for cancer? Show me what do we have for cancer? Caught with the key and the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal, and heart with the key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart. Okay. Girl talk. Twin flame. I definitely feel like there's somebody you're going to be connecting with, but for that to happen, a lot of you need to open your heart space. Okay. You're, you're feeling a little bit confused these days. Okay. Trying to find out about something. Let me actually see. Look at that. Hangman wanted to come out. So, yeah, I feel like your energy has been a little bit stuck lately, okay? But with the hangman energy, I'm also getting that this is something that you're doing to figure something out, okay? What do we have for Cancer? Last shuffle. What do we have for Cancer? I feel like you're trying to move on from something. You're trying to detach from something, okay, with the fool, yeah. A lot of you are trying to free yourself from something so that you can welcome new things. But the fool card can also talk about having to take that leap of faith towards something and it does require a lot of courage. It's almost like an energy of freeing yourself from something. Oh my goodness, what is this with the death card? You're going through a big transformation here. Um, I feel like for some of you, there's a certain person or there is somebody that you're, you will just cut off, okay? Or you're about to cut them off or you've been thinking about, you know, disconnecting from somebody. I'm hearing reset and restart. So that is what your energy is like, okay? Um, see Two of Pentacles? That Two of Pentacles has almost come out for all, of, you know, I'm saying as if there are so many water signs, but it has come up for water signs, you know. Water signs are feeling a bit confused about something, okay. Pisces and Scorpio also got similar energy. Um, Four of Cups, yeah, pretty similar that, you know, um, feeling discontent about something, feeling bored of something, feeling like there is a need for change, uh, there is a need for... How do I say this? A lot of you are tired of living your life um, in a certain way, you know, that includes having to live it, you know, with your past patterns. You're trying to decide about something and you're also trying to cut something off, okay? 
four of wands this is victory success forward movement balance that you're aiming for okay and the thing here is that whatever it is that you're walking away from, I feel like you will you will definitely free yourself from it, Cancer. And there is victory, there is success for you, especially with the Four of Wands energy, okay? Your advice is the Ace of Swords. I see you a little bit defensive or I see you a little bit closed off to something, Cancer. You may even block somebody or you may just like some of you have also been thinking about um, letting go of um, certain people in your life as well as detaching from social media. Yeah, some of you have been thinking about detaching from social media. Um, okay. Show me what's there for cancer in regards to their person, please. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the Moon. This is somebody who who may be very focused on their money, their goals, okay? And I feel like if I were to ask you that, what do you think this person thinks about you? You'll probably be like, they don't care. <laughs> but it's like they think about you, but they're keeping their feelings hidden, okay? They're not really revealing their feelings. What is the moon about? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody who focuses a lot on their money in Cancer. This person is very focused on their money, their goals, okay? This is also somebody who thinks a little bit highly of themselves, whoever this is, Page of Cups. They do want to offer you something. They want to come forward and say something. But this person's energy towards you is a bit flirtatious, okay? They're, they're very focused on their life. And so are you. It's not like you're sitting there waiting for them. But whoever this is, they're very focused on their life. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you have um, the Knight of Cups and the Lovers with the Eight of Swords. This is somebody you've thought about a lot. But I feel like now that you're letting go of it, they're showing up. Knight of Cups to the Lovers. For some of you, this could even be a different person. Okay. But I'm really getting um, cancer that there is going to be love, okay, coming your way this month. There's a choice in love that you will have to make. But whoever this person is, I don't feel like this is somebody who rushes things or tries to rush things. Like this is somebody who, who has a very slow and steady approach towards things, okay? Let's actually see what is the advice for you in regards to something that's making you feel bored and discontent. What is the advice for cancer? King of Cups. Justice. Doing the right thing. Doing the right thing, cancer. This has a lot to do with your emotions. Sometimes you feel for somebody, sometimes you want to forget about them. So this is like that inner tur turmoil in, in regards to your own emotions, okay? When it comes to somebody. You have the strength card here. Yeah, this is going to take a take up a lot of strength and courage, but you will deal with it. You can do it. You are strong enough to do it. And this has something to do with your emotions.
Tell me about Cancer's advice with the Ace of Swords. Six of Cups. Clarity about a relationship and about a past relationship. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness, Cancer. You have the Empress and the Emperor together. And this is an energy that is yet to be revealed to you, okay? This is not something that has manifested yet. I feel like a lot of you are going to be manifesting a soulmate connection or a very deep bond that you're going to share with somebody. But I'm also getting that cancer. Um, you definitely have to, first of all, figure out what is something going on within you because sometimes we get hurt and then we don't want to open up to love. And whatever it is that's making you feel like, you know, it's hard for you to decide. Maybe you need to cut it off or you maybe you need to really sit with it and see what is it about, you know, because it's going to keep bugging you if you don't. Let's read for you indecision to close off your reading and the reading about your person and a bit about your finances is going to be linked below in the description box. OK, let's see indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Your soul is spirit ma your soul is spirit manifest in this physical dimension. Even though you may feel limited by the constraints of your body, your connection to the infinite wisdom of the universe is always available to you in the form of intuition. You are never alone when making any decision. Spirit only wants the best for you. And by listening to your inner voice, you will always be guided to the proper outcome. All you have to do is ask. The expectations of others is only an illusion. You were not born to listen to fear. You were taught to listen to it. Visualize any decision in your life as a fork in the road. How does your body react when you imagine your travels down each path? At first glance, one may look easier to traverse, but the destination will cause anxiety and a heavy heart. Another path may be more difficult to walk, but the destination will feel light and calm. When you silence your mind and listen to your intuition, the signpost will always be obvious. Okay. Yeah. So that's it, Cancer. Those were the messages that showed up for you. I hope that you were open to receive these messages. And I hope that you got something out of the reading. And I will be linking the reading about your person underneath the video if you're interested. Take care and bye-bye.